Well, it's time to answer your fitness questions. And with us this morning is our 2 News fitness expert, Wes Cole. Good morning, Wes. Morning. It's our favorite part of the Saturday show. <laughs> We're learning a little bit about how to be healthier. All right. Well, our first viewer question is from Alan. He says, why is it every time I run, my legs cramp up? Well, you know, a lot of people are real quick to think, oh, you know, I'm not getting enough potassium. It's been my experience that oftentimes people that where their legs really cramp up when they run, they're, they're, they've been walkers and then okay. they, they progress to running like there's a running thing coming. It's important to remember that running uses a lot more muscle than walking. Even going at the same, you know, there's a reason why running around <laughs> the block is harder than walking around sure. the block. I highly recommend people that are pro progressing from walking to jogging to start a walk run program to where they maybe run, you know, maybe 50, 50 yards or so and then they break back down to walking. You got to build up the capillaries in the calf muscles and basically build the endurance in the leg muscles. It's very different even if you walk for four or five miles on the treadmill, progressing to running or even progressing from jogging slowly to, to running. It's a big difference. It's a, it's a big jump. I highly recommend you know, starting slow and just remember that oftentimes cramping it's it's it's, a, it's your body saying that you're, you're doing too much sure. so you know start slow and kind of build up to it and remember there's a big difference between walking and running they're both good but running just uses a lot more muscle so eating a bunch of bananas is not going to help here no it's, it's <laughs> not going to help you much all right our next viewer question is from holly she says i have 50 pounds to lose where is the best place to start my opinion, other than you know, really focusing on the diet, is focusing on basic cardio. There's not much a trainer or anyone can do. If you can't get on, if you can't move or walk for 30, 40 minutes straight at a very low, moderate pace, I mean, that's the foundation of fitness. And I highly recommend people, you know, really starting on that foundation, really making sure, and that tells me a lot about a trainer too. If someone can't go, you know, walk slowly for 15 or 20 minutes you know, without getting real tired, that's letting me know that there might be something even more serious, you know, wrong with them. So building up to where you can go just 30 minutes, a, a slow walk, I mean, that's a good foundation start and really focus on your diet and then there, move on. I wouldn't want someone to start lifting weights real heavy yeah. or, or more than anything, start a high intensity program. You see a lot of the high intensity things, you know, and those are great, but it's, it's definitely not something you want to start with. If you can't go walk steady around the block for 25, 30 minutes, you don't need to be, you need to build up that foundation first. So just get out there and move a little bit. There you go. Move. And like I said, be safe and baby steps. I always tell people baby, baby steps. Baby steps. Our next viewer question is from Kellen. He says his elbows always hurt when he do, does push-ups. What's an alternative? Okay, well, there's a couple. And this one right here, you can tuck your elbows in a little bit more. A lot of people flare their elbows out. Okay. They're just tucking in a little bit more, and that can help just like so. It puts a little bit more pressure on the shoulders and on the triceps, but it should take a little bit of pressure off your you know, off your elbows. That's just interesting because like that. I didn't realize it's just kind of keeping just, them tucked back. Yeah, like yeah, that. just just a slight position in the in, in how you position them on the floor. Thank you, Kyle. Another thing too Kyle, is if you make you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> if you have if you have access to a vertical press machine, mm -hmm. you're just sitting upright on the machines. Um, that takes a little bit of pressure off too because sure. you're not putting as much weight on. And another thing too, I always tell people warm up your upper body. So many people I see them before a run or before you know they, you think I gotta you know their back is stiff. They they do a lot of warm up for their back and they they stretch out their hamstrings, but a lot of people they, they forget their upper body too your muscles and tendons in the upper body get some light dumbbells do some arm turns you know get your upper body warm too before you before you hop right into it. All right, do we have quick, quick time for one last question? Uh, Sadie says she absolutely hates working out. <laughs> Can she feel the same benefit from just moving around and doing things she enjoys like gardening or walking? Well, you know, sure. I think I, the, the real quick way to do this is you're going to have to be a little bit more strict on your diet. You know, the, the less intense you work out, the more strict you're going to ha have to be in the kitchen. But without a doubt, I've known many people that were real serious about walking and, and being real active. My father, you know, he's you know he, in Collinsville. He's always real active, and that's the first person that comes to mind. But you got to be a little bit more strict with your diet, then you'll be good. All right, thanks so much, Wes. If you have a question you'd like Wes to answer, you can go to our Facebook page, KJRH TV, and post it on our wall. You can also visit Wes at his gym or call 749 0960.